back and uh, they can't win games of football with Hayden Ballantyne. Well, it's, it's an interesting one, Ballantyne. Hawthorne have structured up with a really tall back line and they're still, he, he still cannot get off, off the chain there. This is better from Fremantle. Almost a mark to Walters. Hill sent it in long. Kepler Bradley throws it onto the boot and how about that? Kepler's kicked their first goal. The importance of centre clearances doesn't matter the size of the ground. Uh, the message would have been from Ross Lyon to show a bit of intensity, particularly at the start, the first couple of minutes. And uh, they got a result there, Frio. Daniel. Daniel, yeah. And here's Crowley. Inside to Main, who kicked the last goal for the Fremantle Dockers, and Walters on the end of it. He's about 60 from home. He wants to go quickly. Moves the ball in the Kepler Bradley direction. He's got it. Bobbling around second and third times, and Kepler hangs on. So Kepler Bradley, such a versatile player for Fremantle, often finds himself out of the team. People think, well, that's it for Kepler. And then he works his way back in, and he's kicking for Fremantle's third goal for the term. Much better from the Dockers. He's hit high, and the umpires watered him with the free kick. So suddenly Bradley outnumbered, but held. Kepler Bradley! Might have been a bit lucky there, Walters, too. He appeared to duck the head, but be that as it may, 50 metres now. Back it in. <laughs> Best, you know, is he, will he kick the goal? He's kicked two. Will he kick the goal? Mark down three now, Tom. Mark down three. He's a West Perth boy. It's coming back. Oh, go the Falcons. It's back to 23 points.